Hey guys, Jim from IAG. Today, we're gonna to be removing the hardtop on our two-door Bronco. And the caveat is, we're only using the tools provided by Ford that came with this vehicle. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is access our toolkit, which should be located on the passenger side in the glove box. We'll start with this bag, which includes the toolkit to remove the rear roof rail and our front vanity covers for when we remove the front of the roof rail. Next is our leather wrapped Bronco tool bag. Inside this bag, you'll find a quarter inch reversible head ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, plus an array of Torx bits. We'll start by removing our front roof panels. Starting on the driver's side, we will release all three of the L-shaped latches. Then pull down on the lever to release the final driver's side latch. If your vehicle is equipped with roof rails, lift the front corner and re-latch the front latch. Now we can slide the driver's side panel out from underneath the roof rail. The same procedure can be duplicated for the passenger side. One cool thing Ford has done is provided us with a storage bag so that we can secure our roof panels if we decide to take them off while we're out and about. First, we can remove our bag and release the zipper. At this point, it might be beneficial to have a buddy help you to prevent scratching the tops when installing into the bag. Start by loading the passenger side with the forward-facing latches pointed down. Then, install the cloth divider. Finally, Install the driver's side with the front latches facing up. Then, zip the bag closed. Then we'll lift our back glass and lift our tops into the rear of the vehicle. Secure the top buckle latch first around the outside of both headrests. Then secure the two remaining bottom latches. Now your front panels are safely secure. Next, we're gonna start removal of the roof rails. We'll do this by hopping up onto the door sill with our IP30 Torx bit. First, we'll start by removing these two bolts, holding the cover on. But while we're up here, I would like to mention that we do sell a paint protection kit for your door sills for things just like this. You can use the angled T30 or the ratcheted T30 provided in your kit for this procedure, whichever tool you're more comfortable with. Lift this cover up and towards the front of the vehicle for the removal. Then, with your 10 millimeter socket, remove the two bolts that hold the front of the roof rail on. Repeat this procedure for the passenger side. Now would be a great time to mention that included in your Ford toolkit is a pouch to store all of our loose hardware. Once at the back of the vehicle, we're gonna take our Ford key fob, press this button to release the key. We'll use this key to pop the cover to reveal the hardware on the back of our roof rails. Then we'll use our special triangle Ford tool to remove the rear of the roof rails. Take note that this bolt doesn't need to be fully removed to release the rear rail. Now repeat the same process for the passenger side. With a buddy, lift up on each side of the roof rail and walk to the back of the vehicle. Now we'll be installing our roof rail covers. We'll be doing that by installing our frame, then our cover. The driver side is labeled L, the passenger side is labeled R. Install the two 10 millimeter securing nuts. Once this hardware is secure, you can install your painted cap. Repeat this procedure for the passenger side. Fold both rear seats down by pulling on the tether and pushing forward. Disconnect the rear wiper and defrost connector as well as the rear washer hose. Attach both the connector and the hose to the holding brackets located on the driver's side. Now remove the four per side 
T50 Torx bolts attaching the top to the body. Now that we've done all eight of our interior bolts, we can come out and do our last two T50s right here. Now that you removed all the hardware from the top, including your connector and your hosing, it's time to get your trusty friend to help you remove the top. That completes the removal of our hard top on our two-door Bronco. For more tips and tricks just like this one, be sure to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.